Welcome back everyone. This is the first of two tests in a series that we will be testing different tire shines. The first one is going to be basically the store-bought uh, brands and for those of you that are not in the USA, the store-bots, they're primarily going to be US based companies, uh, US brands, it's going to be the Meguiar's, the Mothers, Lucas, things like that. I don't know what of these are going to be available overseas to you, however, waiting for that. You know that I did a video where I asked for recommendations, so I basically I looked at every single one of your comments, put it in a spreadsheet, and took the top answers, and I went and ordered those. So for the second part, it's going to be more of the professional or the international brands that were recommended in this video that I had uploaded and asked a, a few weeks ago. Uh, these are like MONYC, Obsessed Garage, um, just things like that. The 303s, the stuff that I can't usually just get at the auto parts store or my local big box retailer. So the test is gonna start out with four criteria and the first and foremost is the gloss. So that's not a, a good thing or a bad thing if it's too glossy or matte, matte or satin. That's a personal preference. So we're gonna rate it from a scale of one to five, least glossy to most glossy. And just, it's kind of subjective. It's my opinion, but you know, the majority of these are gonna be a four or a five where they are more glossy. Uh, then we're gonna let it sit. If they're in the interest of fairness, I'm going to wipe off the excess of any of these because the next the next portion is the sling test, and that's the whole reason I built this pretty uh, not inexpensive rig in order to do this and simulate in con controlled conditions uh, driving 55 miles an hour or almost 90 kph. And so let me go back to the beginning. We're going to apply it to the tire. If it says on the on the instructions, wait five to 10 minutes before driving, we're gonna wait 10 minutes. Then we're gonna drive it, but at that 10 minute mark, that's when we're gonna observe the gloss level. And then we're going to drive it, and we're gonna spin it for one minute, and there's gonna be a piece of paper underneath it that it's, I have the average weight of the paper, which is four and a half grams, we're gonna see how much additional product is slung onto that. And then we're gonna weigh it. I have a very fine jewelry jewelry scale that can measure slight differences like that. So the paper, I've, I've weighed several different pieces and it was like 4.55, 4.52. Uh, it's very close to four and a half grams. So that's what we're gonna use for our base. So after we spin it, weigh it, do everything like that, then we're going to go back and apply dirt and dust. And I, I have a uh, basically an, a mason jar with holes drilled in the top of it. And I have sifted fine dirt and dust into that. So it's all the same size. And we're gonna throw it at the tire and see basically how much stays on. Because there are some that are almost completely uh, impervious, immune. To, to attracting dust. It just depends on the product. So when we go, we're, we're going to see on a scale of one to five, how much dust is attracted to each of those. Then we're going to take a pressure washer that's approximately two feet, or what is that, about two thirds of a meter, something like that, at a 45 degree angle, away from the tire. We're not gonna spray it directly on the tire. We're gonna spray it kind of offset a little bit. So it's not, the purpose isn't to wash it off, it's to get it wet as it's spinning for a minute. After that, we'll measure and see how much product is remaining, if there's any gloss or any any resistance to the water at all. So uh, that's, that's basically it. So we have gloss, sling, dirt resistant, dirt and dust resistance, and water resistance. So those are the four. Now, originally in my other video, I talked about a fifth one and that's durability or, or uh, longevity. I'm sorry. 
I don't want to do that on this test because that's something that's going to take a significant amount of time to do when I've got over 50 different products to test here. So that in mind, I don't. I had talked about having like a, a piece of rubber that I could hang on the back of my shop wall, you know, 50 different pieces hung up, exposed to the same conditions, but it's not really ideal because on a tire, it's going to be subjected to being slung, you know, spun all the time. And at 55 miles an hour, 88 and a half KPH, that uh, the outward force is over 221 G's. So time, it's a lot of a lot of outward force, which you're not going to get when it's just sitting on a wall, being exposed to sun, rain, what have you. So that's why I don't think that that's appropriate for this type of test, but we may visit that later down the road because I'm, I still have all these products. I don't know what I'm going to do with 50 different products of, of tire shine. You know, we, we go through like two gallons of it. Uh, what is that? Eight, eight liters in a year in our shop. So, I mean, it's, it's going to take a long time to go through that much. Uh, so anyway, there we have it. We're going to get started and this is going to be quite a long video. So stay tuned. If you want to see the results at the end, jump towards the end of the video. I'd, I'd prefer you, you sit and stay, but uh, there we have it. So uh, a couple other little housekeeping things. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, there's a link right there. Uh, Patreon.com slash Scott HD. Uh, it helps pay for these products. 100% of the ad revenue from my YouTube channel, the Patreon, the Amazon Associates links, all of it goes right back into buying products for this. So if you if you see something you like, please consider buying it through the link in the description on my Amazon Associates as it, it does help this channel out. I'm not doing this to make money. I'm doing it to find the best product and you guys are here along for the ride. So thank you again for all your support. We've passed 10,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely crazy how fast this channel's growing. Uh, you know, it took me it took me about 12 years to get 7,000 subscribers, and then the last 3,000 have happened in the, about the past three months. So just things just continue to grow. Um, I'm I'm very grateful for it, and I want to make sure that I keep supporting you guys as you support me. So here we go. As I said earlier, here's showing you the average of some of the weights of these pieces of paper typically around four and a half grams 4.48 to 4.54 4.55 grams so that's kind of going to be our base okay so i'm going to narrate the first few here and then after that i'm going to just set it to music so we have the product going to put captions as to the instructions and then spray it on, let it sit for whatever. So if it says five to 10 minutes, we're gonna let it sit 10 minutes. In this instance, it says three minutes. So we'll set it for three. We'll of course fast forward it. So you don't have to sit here and literally watch paint dry. And as the, the later ones go on in this video, it'll get shorter, it'll get quicker. I just wanted to wanted to go through these first so we always wipe the excess whether it says to or not because we want this to be a fair test have the paper underneath the pre-weighed weight is four and a half grams 4.50 average of five we spin it for a minute you can see that black magic it's sitting there and spinning off quite a bit some of these lower end uh, products, especially the aerosol, I expect quite a bit of sling from these. Just to test these first 26 products, it took me about four days to do this because of the drying time and things like that that I had to wait. A lot of time involved in setting up this the second part of the video, the higher end stuff, it's going to take even longer. So hope you guys appreciate the amount of time that's put into this because it really took me way longer than expected. So here's black magic, 5.00 grams even. So that is one, one half of one gram gain. And you can see it's still, still pretty glossy. 
even after spinning it, driving it at speed. So now we have our fine dust that I have refilled many times throughout this test. So I, at first I tried sprinkling it above it and the wind kept carrying it away so I started just throwing it at it and that seemed to work a little better but this product is pretty good at resisting dust compared to some of the others that you'll later see in this video. So at the end of each segment I'm going to post the ratings and again these are subjective based on my opinion but I'm gonna have the gloss level the dust resistance, the water resistance, the amount of sling. And then at the very end of the video, we'll have a graph that shows which basically has held up the best against water, which attracts the least amount of dust, and then the most and least glossy, which again, that's a, per a personal preference. I have more of a preference to the satin type of finish. I don't like crazy, crazy glossy tires. Um, that's just again personal preference so you can see after running it for a minute in the water all of it 100% of it's gone so we move on to black magic wet tire gel essentially same product but a gel let's see if it's any different So it comes with an applicator so we put it on don't have to wipe the excess on that one and it says sit for 15 minutes so as we do that again watching more paint dry this is the fun part of the test right spin it for a minute little bit of sling not too bad but being a gel it is quite heavy so when we weigh it, I'm, I'm uh, just going to assume there is going to be a quite a bit of product on there, quite, quite a bit of weight. So there's your after, pretty decent amount, not, not as bad as the first one, but yeah, 4.71, so we have 0.22 grams. So about half of what the first one is. So dust resistance, the gels, uh, usually not very good at dust resistance. You can see the dust just sticks straight to it. Not great. Spray it for a minute. let it spin dry and then we'll take a look As you can see it's a it actually has pretty decent water resistance compared to the first one it's got a little bit of shine left to it not bad at all okay so that's kind of I'm just walking you through the first two that's that's how things are gonna go I'm just going to set it to some music you guys can sit back enjoy and We'll sum up everything at the end on which one is best.
Thank you.
and the winner of the store-bought products of tire shine in my opinion and based on testing is griot's garage black satin tire shine and here's why in my spreadsheet here i have ranked everything by initial gloss amount of sling dust resistance water resistance so griot's garage satin it was it wasn't the glossiest it was a three out of five but it did it had zero sling and so that's if you have a white vehicle or something where it's going to uh, fling up all in the fender liners you know you don't want a product that's that's going to sling so we've got that it also had a pretty good resistance to dust and water not the best but middle of the road so it could do everything well it has a, a uniform good gloss it has no sling good resistance to dust good resistance to water so that would be my pick uh, we can go on the other ones here so the products that had the best water resistance I'm staring up at my spreadsheet here uh, black magic intense wet tire spray that was the aerosol version it was ten dollars what I paid for it and it it had only 0.26 grams of sling so it's on the lower the lower side it was the glossiest at, at uh, gloss level 5 but the weakness of that is dust it just the dust attracted and stuck to it like crazy so you know it, it looks like there's going to be some trade-offs if you want something that's resist water well it may not be resistant to dust so it looks like the ones that have the best dust resistance are products that basically weren't very glossy like the original armor all lucas slick mist which is water based and there's one other one here where is it uh stp oh that's the original armor all so the total cost for all of these products that were used in this test were about two hundred dollars the rig cost to build it and set up including the four <laughs> the four wheels and tires that i bought that i ended up not using um, total cost for that was one thousand and sixty six dollars if you subtract the wheels and tires it was in the area of about seven hundred dollars so still in excess of a thousand dollars in product material cost for this test um, now you can see why the patreon supporters buying the products from the Amazon Associates links everything like that it really helps uh, helps make these tests happen so there you have it guys let me know what you think in the comments I'd really appreciate the feedback I do have the second part coming up these are going to be the higher end there's a significant amount of money that's gone into this second part so like to hear your feedback let me know um, we will revisit the durability or the longevity of all of these at a later date it's going to take a, a even longer than this test took because we're, got, we're going to apply it to our vehicles have four tires four different products we have two vehicles that we daily drive we'll go from there so thanks again for watching. Please stay tuned. The other the other video should be up in about a week or a week and a half. Thanks guys.